Guess what? It's Saturday. Do 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 do. It's Saturday. Do 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 do. And uh, Mel gave me the challenge to sing a part of Cats, and I decided, since I have the whole apartment to myself this weekend, that I would make a production of it. So I'm gonna put that at the end. I did answer the challenge. It's at the end of the video, so make sure you watch. It's awesome. I hope. Theme this week is to make something. This week, finally got around to doing the alterations on Lyra's unitard. It's not that hard, uh, but you've got to be comfortable with your sewing machine. I wouldn't want to do this by hand. So, from a mock turtleneck zipper back unitard, we're starting with the zipper and the mock turtleneck, and the shoulders are all sewn up. And basically what you do, you start with the zipper and you pick out all the seams. So you're taking out the whole zipper. Um, and then from there, you're gonna take out the seams around the neck. So the neck will come off. And as soon as you've done that, you're gonna rip the shoulder seams. Not the arm, just the shoulder. And then you start fixing it up. And you're gonna go in, yeah, in the same order that you did when you took it apart. So the first thing you wanna do is pin together the two back sheets and sew that up. That one's nice and simple. You want to use a zigzag stitch, and that way it'll still uh, have a little bit of stretch when you're done. The next thing is to hem over the neck. Because it's such a small seam allowance, and the lycra rolls anyway, I don't pin the neck when I hem it. I just hold it as I sew it through the machine. And then you want to finish the shoulders. Um, do the same thing that you did to the neck. Just hem up the shoulders. And then you've got that old mock turtleneck piece and cut two pieces that'll fit along the shoulders. You can see this is the extra piece here. This is the mock turtleneck that I've repurposed. Um, if you don't mind losing an inch or two of girth, you don't have to do this step, but uh, you're gonna sew up two neat little rectangles and you're gonna sew those right to the shoulders and then you put in grommet snaps um, with your trusty hammer and uh, once it's all done, you should be able to snap it up and have a really nice shoulder. So you've got shoulder entry and no back zipper. And that's how you alter a unitard. Do, 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 do. Thank you, Tuxedo Kitten, for posting in the Jellicle's Vlog connection thread on the CCDB. Um, I, was, I like seeing your quilt progress. I hope you get around to posting the last piece of it because that's the part that still confuses me the most. I'd like to learn how to quilt. That was cool. I think you were the only non-J vlogger who posted in the thread. So I'm glad you did and I like your stuff and thank you. Um, challenge, my challenge this week. I want to see you paint the face. I know that a couple of us have been getting the makeup bug recently, Mooney and Mel, I think. But yeah, paint your face, and I want to see it. I want to see your face with paint on the J-Blog. Two, wait, yes, two, Katie Cat. If you have access to face paints, I know you're going to school soon, but if you have access to fa face paints, please paint your face and wear it for the vlog, and it'll be awesome. Yep, that's it. See you guys later. Have fun watching my super awesome video. And when they 
reach the scene of crime. The cavity's not there. You may seek him in the basement. You may look up in the air. But I tell you once and once again, the cavity's not there. The cavity's the ginger cat. He's very tall and thin. You would know him if you saw him, for his eyes are sunken in. His brow is deeply lined and thought. His head is highly domed. His coat is less thick from the dust. His whiskers are uncombed. He sways his head from side to side with movements like a snake. And when you think he's off asleep, he's always wide awake. Macavity, Macavity, there's no one like Macavity. For he's a fiend and feel and shake, a monster of depravity. You may meet him in the by streets, you may see him in the square. But when a crime is discovered, then Macavity's not there. He's Cheats at cards. And his movements are not found in any files to Scotland Yard. And when the blood is looted, or the jewel case is rightful, or when the milk is missing, or another peak's been stifled, or the greenhouse glass is broken. Of the thing, McCavity is not there. McCavity, McCavity, there's no one like McCavity. There never was a cat with such deceitfulness and suavity. He always has an alibi and one or two to spare. Whatever time the day took place, McCavity wasn't there.